Hello and welcome to the introduction to the TimScript tools available at uh, hyperint.com. I basically just wanted to do a quick intro video, short one to kind of say, you know, these are a lot of the tools that I use every day. Some of them I've used all the time. Some of them I haven't used in a long time, but I'm going to try and go through them and show you exactly what each one does. Um, in this video, what I would like to do is show you uh, a tool called HyperTree. And what that does is it goes through the directory structure of where all the scripts are installed and gives you direct access to them. So you can do, you know, things like that where you can actually see the scripts there. And if you put a new script there, it doesn't have to be mine. If you put a new script there and um, right click on, basically you would hit refresh cache. It would look through the directory structure and add that here to this tree. If you right click on it, you can say create macro script, which would add it to your macro scripts uh, and allow you to put them on a hotkey or on a toolbar, or what have you. Um, if you're just looking at the ones that I installed with my installer, or you installed my installer, uh, all of those are already Mac scripts, but this is in case you add a new one while you have Macs running. Uh, also, you can hit edit script, it'll allow you to edit the script. Another cool thing is if you open up your favorites, uh, folder or tool which is basically hypertree favorites and that allows you to drag and drop what you would like to use here so so you have quick access to the ones you want to use so you can add a group you can rename the group and call it uh, tools whatever and then you can say drag a tool like for example let's say the hyper bip selector you can drag it from this tree to this tree uh, or say you know posture copy, posture paste, whatever. And then what you would do is hit close and save and now it will remember the order that you had that up. You see? Now you can see how this is now collapsed. What I can do is right click on it and say load as expanded. Okay, so now when I say close and save and I open it again, you'll see that that's expanded now. Okay, so that's basically hypertree in a nutshell. Uh, these are the scripts. It's just like running them. So if you say, for example, I have a sphere and I want to create a point at the center of that sphere, for example, I come here and say uh, create, uh, create point at object center. That's one of the tools. And now I've got a point that is at the object center. Okay, or it was until I moved it. And like I said, that's hypertree in a nutshell. Uh, the next videos will take you through each individual section, animation, biped, bones, cat, cloth, and like I said, I will focus on certain tools like the Hyper Renamer, which is a little bit more intricate in their own videos. Thank you.